Hi, my name's Lanny, and I'm with the Fairview Film Club. If there is one thing I'm positive about, it is that the best filmmakers walking the planet eat, drink, and sleep the cinema. Inside the memory banks of masters like Tarantino and Scorsese reside volumes and volumes of the best and worst films ever made. It's truly remarkable how much knowledge of the genre of film they have. And right at the top is Paul Thomas Anderson. An auteur of the highest regard, Anderson is a voracious cinephile who also has an insatiable appetite for books. His ability to draw from literature and film alike is unmatched in my opinion, and he puts his abilities to great use. Anybody who's heard anything about PTA knows that he adores his mentor, Robert Altman. But if you dig a little bit deeper, you also find that he holds up filmmakers like Robert Downey Sr. and a whole host of directors from the 1930s. You can see the impression they made on him throughout his work. It just got in there so, so strongly. On reflection, I see these movies now and I think, I think, my God, this is probably the first time I was seeing anything like this. And I see things that I have obviously been influenced by or tried to rip off or tried to, tried to do, tried to tell a story in such a way. And aside from knowing aspect ratio like the back of his hand and being able to adjust his approach to fit the exact feel he's looking for, PTA style can be broken down into four basic elements. First, My man loves tracking shots, and when I say love, I mean like vintage 1970s in the valley type of love. He can't get enough. Robert Ellswit, who's done just about every movie PTA has made, has to be in great shape because the camera movement does not stop. And when tracking shots aren't the right fit, those slow push-ins are where it's at. Can't you just build a pipeline around this track? I build around 50 miles of Tehachapi Mountains. Don't be thick in front of me, Al. Next up, an excellent approach to incorporating light and color says it all. While the use of color and silhouettes play a big role in all of PTA's films, he loves backlights and halos most as there is little bit in each movie he's made. Punch Drunk Love drives it home. I'd be remiss without noting production design here as well. The symbolism in the color spectrum of Jeremy Blake's artwork is all over the place here, and you could even make the argument it should have gotten billing as an additional character. From the costumes to the skyline, there is a kaleidoscope range of colors throughout the film, serving as the visual underscoring to the emotional range Barry has brimming beneath the surface. It's great, and the more you watch his films, the more you'll notice the detail that he puts in here every time. Third, nobody in the industry garners the respect from the best actors on the planet like PTA does. He's a storyteller of the highest regard who only pins out or adapts a script when the mood is right, but it only starts there. Typically, he'll create characters around actors he knows will fit perfectly in roles. Doing this doesn't force his actors to reach for it. He serves them up meat pitches and they hit it out of the park every time. Look at the list. Daniel Day-Lewis, Joaquin Phoenix, Julianne Moore, Philip Seymour Hoffman, Philip Baker Hall, John C. Riley, Gwyneth Paltrow, Samuel Jackson, Burt Reynolds, Don Cheadle, William H. Macy, and this is only half the list. During one interview, the holy grail of actors himself, Daniel Day-Lewis, had this to say about considering working with PTA. You, do you read it immediately? It's, do you? Yeah, because it came from him. Finally. It wouldn't be a Paul Thomas Anderson film without an absolutely kick-ass and emotional soundtrack. PTA has worked with two main composers, John Bryan and Johnny Greenwood of Radiohead. Both are exceptional, award-winning songwriters, but my favorite parts are the things that can't be put into words. Check out Bryan's work during this tracking shot that pits mood against the reality of the situation. That's artwork, and Greenwood's scores for There Will Be Blood and The Master are stunning. So let's take a look at it again. 
If you want to be like PTA, you better incorporate camera movement, and not just a little. I mean a lot. Push in, pull away, lock it down on wheels, or track it with your hands. Use what fits the mood. You have to write and adapt with great skill to showcase your actors. If you can do this like a boss, the best actors on the planet are going to want to work with you. Incorporate color and light into your production design, and don't settle for less. The symbolism alone here can carry your work. But don't forget the score. Write for what you like, and keep the music in mind when you do. And when all else fails, just get a bite to eat. I'm going to be a taco. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to be the young filmmaker with mm -hmm. fucking pizza in the air. Thanks for watching. We're the Fairview Film Club.